But meantime, President Obama has been pushing these plans for private companies to ferry astronauts into space, space taxis. Our next guest wants to build them, and his company has a pretty good chance of ending up a key part of NASA's plans to transport astronauts and cargo to the space station. Joining us now via phone is Elon Musk. He's the CEO of Space Exploration Technologies. You may know it as SpaceX. He's with us from Cape Canaveral, Florida. Uh, good morning to you, Elon. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, tell me what this new plan does for your business. Well, um, you know, first of all, I should perhaps just touch on some of the things that were, that were just said about the Constellation program. I think perhaps the thing that's uh, really not appreciated about it is, and, and, and why it, it really made complete sense to, to, to cancel it, um, is that the, you know, the president looked at at the program and what it was supposed to be delivering, and it just wasn't delivering on, on its promises. And uh, it, it, the, there was a commission done last year, the, the Augustine Commission, um, which looked at this and just pointed out the, the, the obvious, which is uh, it was going to cost uh, another $50 billion to get done. Uh, it would have a per-flight cost 50% uh, greater than the shuttle and deliver half as many people to low Earth orbit. So how much uh, more efficient is your plan then? I mean, what, what are you going to save the taxpayer who will still have an investment in this? Uh, we're, we're actually uh, more than 10 times the efficiency of, of what Constellation would have delivered because the, the Ares 1 and Orion, uh, Ares 1 rocket and Orion spacecraft would have cost about $400 million per astronaut, per, per seat. Uh, to, to orbit and back, and you're going to uh, charge NASA what 20 million per astronaut? Right. So we're one. So we're 20 times less. <laughs> um, I think it's it, it's the, the real question should be asked. People should be asking is is not why was Constellation canceled now, but why wasn't it canceled sooner? But when you look at um, your business, it's a really interesting venture here, but it is relatively untested. I mean, we heard from NASA's chief himself who said he might be more comfortable working with a Boeing, with a Northrop Grumman. Why would a startup like yours uh, really be able to compete in this space? Relatively untested. Yeah, and, and I agree with that assessment, um, and I agree with the, with, with the administrator. In fact, uh, the, the the opponents of, of cancellation cance, uh, cancellation <laughs> um, have have tried to straw man the argument by claiming that that the cancellation will be cancelled and will hand it over just to SpaceX, which is actually false. Um, in fact, what what will happen? is that there will be multiple providers of, of space transport uh, to, to orbit. Um, and Boeing and Lockheed will, in fact, be the, almost certainly be the, the largest recipients of that funding. They just won't make quite as much as they would have made under the old program. So that's hence their opposition. Um, I, I do think there's a good likelihood that SpaceX will be one of those providers, but we will be just one provider among many. 